Hey everyone, Jonathan Smith here, Light, also known as Lightsport Man. I had a question on my FAA test, and I've seen it a couple of times, and now I have some students that's asked me about the same question. So I wanted to make this video to actually help you calculate it and help you pass your FAA test. One of the questions is what approximate total correction should be made to get to the destination? Now, you might not understand what this means yet, but let's go over how the question will look on the FAA test. After 200 miles off loan from the, the pod point, the aircraft position is located 20 miles off course. If 100 miles were made to be flown, what approximate total correction should be made to get to the destination? So this question is on the FAA test, not the same tax figures. And I have a couple of students that don't understand this. So I wanted to make this video. So let's go on to this. And the question is, once again, what's the approximate total correction should be made to get to the destination? So after flying 200 miles from the departing point, the aircraft is 20 miles off course, and I still have 100 miles to go. So what you're going to do here is take the 20, which is the 20 miles off course, and you're going to divide it by the miles flown, which is 200, which will give you 0.1. At that time, you time the 0.1 to 60, 60, which will give you 6, that equals 6 degrees. Next, you still got to go 100 miles more. Okay, so, so you're 20 miles off course. Divided by the 100 miles that you still have to fly will equal to 0.2 times that by 60 equals 12, which is 12 degrees. Add them both together and that's 18 degrees. So that is your correction of what has to be made to get to your destination. This question is on the FAA test. I have a couple of students that seen this question and didn't know how to do it. This is how I'm telling you to solve it. If you have any problems or questions with this, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.